So typical Sunday, Kel's dragged me to a car boot sale. No you different to being take, in England. You didn't take much persuading, did you really? Well, it means I don't have to do any work. You dragged me out of bed. Well, it's looking busy. Oh, uh, let's go see what um, rubbish we can find to buy. <laughs> and we'll show you later. Well, it's only a, not even a week actually, I think, since I've cut the lawn and I feel like it's, uh, I think it's got Viagra in it. It just literally just comes up in no time at all. But it's a Sunday, can't get the lawnmower out. But Carol is busy hacking away again. Oh dear. So car boot sale this morning, fun. Didn't buy anything. Didn't buy anything, oh dear, so even less fun. Um, back here and then it's full on again, isn't it? And it's then we- called saving another wall. Saving another wall. Because this ivy has got so big that it's actually taken out this building here and it's pulling the wall down with it. Yes, so uh, basically in this corner, we think there used to be, well, it's only a small, small building, wasn't there? When I say building, it was <laughs> like a garden shed or so, wasn't it? But of granite stone, is that what you found? Or is it actually a stone building? You don't want to know what I found. Oh dear, okay. So we're going to do that this afternoon. Um, and then perhaps enjoy the sunset because it is a glorious day. Actually, it's even hotter tomorrow, thankfully. So uh, we might be another day, get out in the garden. Um, oh look, and then just in the corner over there, in my eye, I can see Stonehenge, which is sort of uh, on hold at the moment as there's better priorities to be done. Um, but I'll pan around because I just love that view again. <laughs> and slowly we're clearing away around it. And across through the garden. But bit by bit, we're getting there. You found a wall. Okay, don't pull on it too hard. Right, cleared away the sand in this corner. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to carry on here anyway. Uh, but you can clearly see this is where most of the damage is. Uh, as I said before, I reckon that sometime the, uh, these right hand side salon doors just blown over, blown open I mean and uh, obviously the previous owner may not have been aware of it and the rain is just literally from the prevailing wind just literally soaked the place um, I wouldn't be surprised if the parquet flooring was down as well at the time which is why I can't find any of that side or any of it down this side because uh, it probably all got severely damaged um, but the whole thing is dropped away you can even see on the side part below the uh, mouldings, that's clearly dropped away. Although I had the same problem in the dining room. But let's, I think what we'll do, we'll get this all cleared up, get this, uh, the rest of these boards out of the way, and then we can see uh, underneath what the joists are looking like. Hello, snotty nose. It's not snotty nose. Okay, what is it? <laughs> it's just more comfortable than a dust mask. Oh. Something was imitating my nose. Okay. Do you want me to tell you something really bad though? Really stupid. Yeah, I know. No. This what's, is a state of thing. What's stopping the dust going in your mouth? It's covering my mouth up. <laughs> I'm up. You're a donut, you are. What are you so, doing? I'm trying to um, get around the room before there's no floor left to stand on. Well, I, no, no, yeah, okay, all right, fair point. I mean, I've left you the boards for the moment to work on. There's hardly anything left, it's full of holes. But, but every time I step somewhere, it just disintegrates into the cellar. That's how bad the floor is. I mean, that, mm, okay, they're not too bad. Over this way, well, I've just had to rebuild the bottom of the door just temporarily so we can shut it. That's completely collapsed. So uh, I put a nice piece of oak, cut that in, and then put the, uh, the lock system back onto it. Um, behind that is oak. That's okay. a solid. I, what I've done is I've recycled one of these joists uh, that are down here, which is a nice piece of oak. Anyhow, so you're. Oh, yeah. You were talking about car, uh, gaps in my floorboards. What about gaps in your boards? So I've gone around with cork, first of all, in the deep ones. Right. 
um, can solve them by really deep. And then I'm putting flexible wood filler on top. Okay. But there's a few places where, like this one, it needs you to screw it back because it has dropped and come forward. Only if I can get to it. If you can get to it. Yeah, because it looks to me it might be nailed. At the moment, I thought if you're making a mess, I'm going to make a mess. Why not? Yeah. So yeah. I'm just preparing woodwork. It's not a very nice job. It's a bit of a dusty job. It's got to be done. Um, but you're buggering off and leaving me soon again. Not actually 100. percent I'm coming back after seeing the state of this floor. I might actually just stay there. Tell me when I want to come and stay and keep me company. <laughs> Yeah, CV's in the post, I'm please. I'm a really bad cook. I still don't cook. <laughs> he paints. Perhaps what you need, actually, is someone to come and stay with you that cooks. Yay. Yay. <laughs> right, okay, well then, um, oh, actually, plan B is uh, keep tucking up Terry and Ash because they're always inviting you over for a barbecue, so perhaps they could be your answer. Here's my new tools as well, some of them. They, um... Quite the right size for getting the hair. Right. Oh yeah, I see what you mean on that little, yeah. Up the edges. Oh, that's ideal. Yeah. Uh, there you go then. It's going well. Gifts that you really needed. So um, I'm still not even going to attempt this at going back to the ceiling. Dick me down and looked at later. But I thought I'd work from the bottom up. Instead of what you usually do, decorating work from the top down, when there's so much dust, it's better to work from the bottom up. Otherwise, all the dust falls down onto everything below and you're sanding all the dust again. Do you get what it's I do get what you're saying, but you, you're only doing this prep in the moment because, uh, like I said, a couple of weeks or so, once you start ripping the floor out, you can't even get in here. And as I said, I reckon it'll take me a month to get all this ripped out, Joyce, so. So don't panic. And uh, as I always say, and people keep now copying me, crack on. see woodworm underneath that. As in? Down the bottom. Oh. Down. If it's down there at the very bottom, uh, and it's only a smaller amount, I could live with that. Ooh. It's got more holes than a dartboard. These hungry caterpillars, as my grandson would say. Very hungry caterpillars. Very hungry. Um, this is the internal door, so this is not even next to where the weather's coming in if the doors are open. Um, but clearly, you can see it's actually eaten away, completely eaten away here. Uh, thankfully, we got to it. You can see the, if I come in, the movement of the uh, worms, etc. But they obviously were very hungry. So uh, good job we're in here now. I think another year and they would have really got into the joists actually. So um, we'll get these up and then get treating. And then hopefully that's, well, that chemical that we have, as well as preventing it coming back, actually kills them as well. So um, that's a good thing. 
and then uh, we can uh, start to move on to think about floorboards. So uh, I'm glad now that we've took the floorboard or the sand up, etc., just to reveal the uh, floorboards and uh, get some air to it as well for the moment. But yeah, what a horrible job. Back from the UK, but I'm just gonna see what Cal's been up to in, well, I'm not even gonna call it my toilet anymore because she's taken over. Um, let's have a look. So, Well, still looks like my toilet and I left it. She just pimped it a bit. Um, I think the marble looks okay. Can't see a problem with that. But it's not being changed anyhow. Uh, I know she said she's gonna do a few things on the window ledge. Still gotta fill that gap. She's gonna do something outside on the, uh, the window needs plastering bit etc so that's going to be sorted out um oh yeah now she's got a fancy light up but yeah very nice um other than that yeah i think that looks fine i can live with what's happening in there i said it is just a guest toilet floor's all done so uh, today we got the delivery of the solar panel. It's just been worth its weight in gold. Um, Cal's been using her new toys today, uh, strimmer and lawnmower. Um, and with the glorious sunshine we've been uh, having today, we were able to charge the battery. So we just keep rotating the batteries that have to keep coming back to the shutter and plugging them in each time. So uh, a big thank you again to EcoFlow. Um, as you can see, literally just powered the uh, whole unit um, from the solar panel and and as I said we don't have to keep running back and forth from the garden so uh, um, worth its weight in gold as I said but uh, a big thank you and uh, yeah we'll just carry on and we just need more glorious sunshine days where's your wigwam? Uh, yeah unfortunately well, down here. Go, you go find it go find it um, um, yeah it might have blown down in the storm though <laughs> So we'll build another one, shall we? That's fine. See what Glamour's made for you. Where is it? It's here. It's here, where? I can't see it. Is no, it, it wasn't here? there. Cordy, you've no sense of direction, have you? You're worse than your Glamour. Hey, Glamour. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, what's that? Should we go and have a look? Well, come on then. It's sure. It looks like a spaceship to me. Well, go on then. In you go. Oh, I know. I put something there for you. Look. Look to your left. Look. Go. Oh. Well, why don't you just go and get your sleeping bag and pillow, and oh. you're sorted. We'll see you later, okay? Oh. Wow, he's off. <laughs> you got, it's you that needs the exercise. Is that good, sir? Zach? Do you want Glamour to come on? Oh my god, I better yeah, stop videoing. It's your turn. Anyhow, do you like it? What do you say? Please. No, the other one. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that's the entertainment sort of this afternoon. <laughs> I guess trimming bushes is not happening. <laughs> Silly billies.